everybody again this is milton city councilman matt coons and we just had another city council work session so again real quick disclosure these thoughts are my own i don't speak on behalf of everybody on the council so just want to let you know where that's coming from as well uh hit subscribe on the youtube channel that you see you can also follow me on twitter at matt coons 59 or my facebook page facebook.com slash matt coons gov so real quick meeting what we talked about tonight first of all um we discussed uh looking at are large lot subdivisions and so here's the deal most of what you see in the city of milton is ag1 primarily and with that we've got a lot of you know equestrian uh, land that's being developed into one acre lot subdivisions and so one of the thoughts that we are trying to look at is how do we incentivize larger lots to come in that might be able to keep one, the rural look and feel that we have, as well as maybe some equestrian components also. The problem is, is that they can build them now, we're just not getting them. And so we've tasked staff with coming up to a, um, some certain conclusions about how we might be able to give them some better incentives. And so part of that is, is working with some of the um, processes on road construction or, or the fire components. We want to make sure those are safe, but also too, they don't want to have additional costs with that. If we can reduce those costs, as well as make them more efficient with regards to their construction so they don't have to spend as much on the on the mortgages as they're waiting to build these things those are areas of which we can help so we're we're looking at that um you know and trying to get to those points there the next thing we talked about was uh we have a referendum that's been passed by the state to bring it to you the voters to vote with regards to homestead exemptions and how our taxes are going to be done going forward um mainly it it goes to the house we have some large landowners that that might not benefit as much from that and so we're having staff do a synopsis on that to see what that's going to look like and um but as a council we vote on that as a referendum it goes before you on the november 6th ballot this in the next few months to determine how our taxes are going to be run going forward um in the next few years so that's one of the things we're doing and and uh, the last thing that we really have to talk about which is fun is there is a party in the park which is right out here this past Saturday. Uh, again, this park that was built right outside of City Hall, no taxpayer dollars went to this. This was all done by the developers who uh, want to see this area be the walkable, livable area that it is. So they had a great party out here. I was told there were about a thousand people here, but here's the fun part about it. Some people that are not even Milton residents came to this park, to this party, and contacted me and said, boy, what you guys have done in Crab Apple has really been fantastic. You know, just a lot of the the look and feel of what is and so a lot of vision goes into creating this but a lot of people working together as well and so all the stuff we're doing i think the more we work together the better our community does and that involves just really the relationships we have with each other so great job to everybody who worked on this park great job to um, the staff the council the developers um, everybody for the vision and really on this particular area just making Milton one of the best places to live work and play so I'll end it here appreciate your support again follow me on Twitter hit subscribe on that YouTube channel and um, have a great day thank you